Okay, so we are here to talk about gooey chocolate muffins uh, that are packed with hazelnuts and they are completely and utterly sugar-free and actually they've got no fat in there as well, so no oil, no butter. I've got two cups of ready-rolled or steel-cut oats. I use Quaker and I have two cups of roasted hazelnuts. So I've roasted these in the oven at 150 degrees Celsius or around 300 degrees Fahrenheit um, for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna be getting these mixed up together and blended in the blender uh, into a very, very fine flour. Um, so obviously when we don't have any sugar in our recipes, we really need to capitalize and build on the other ingredients in the recipe. Um, so this is gonna be packed with chocolate, but the hazelnut just brings in a huge nutty flavor. For more dry ingredients, we have the half of cup of unsweetened cocoa, one tablespoon of baking powder. Yes, one tablespoon. This is a flourless recipe, so <laughs> go for the one tablespoon. Um, and half a teaspoon of salt. So those are pretty much all of our dry ingredients. And then for the wet ingredients, we have one cup of Greek yogurt or plain yogurt. We've got two eggs, half a cup of maple syrup, remember the unsweetened maple syrup. So the maple syrup, obviously we're going for something completely unsweetened with refined sugar. So I use this brand, it's Organic Larder, it's a family farm. Um, organic maple syrup, just make sure when you're getting your maple syrup, you check the back, make sure there are no hidden ingredients in there that you don't want. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. And like we were saying, sugar-free recipes, we really need to build on flavors that have nothing to do with sugar. So we were talking about the hazelnut, the chocolate powder, and coffee. <laughs> so three-fourths of a cup of ready-brewed coffee that's had some time to um, chill a little bit. It doesn't have to be completely cold, but not burning hot. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make the flour. So with the oats and the hazelnut, we're gonna be making the flour out of those. And it's gonna take a few batches because it's quite a lot, but I have my grinder here. Preheat your ovens at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius to give it a time, uh, enough time to preheat. That's the oats. Now for the hazelnut, got quite a bit to do. So we got the two types of flour ingredients, our oats and our hazelnut. Just put the cocoa powder on top of that, followed by your one tablespoon of baking powder and your half of half teaspoon of salt, okay? Mix it up together, don't mix it up together, totally your choice, it's not important at this stage. Let's stick to the important stuff. Okay, we said there's gonna be chocolate in this recipe. The chocolate comes in two phases. We have the chocolate cocoa that we put in the dry ingredients, and we have chocolate chips. I couldn't find unsweetened chocolate chips, but I found unsweetened dark chocolate. So I'm gonna cut this up. You want half a cup of chocolate chips to go into the batter, and then you reserve a bit um, to garnish and let it melt over the top. Okay, so you have your ovens preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. And now it's time to make the batter. Two eggs. I don't care about breaking them, honestly, because they're gonna do this anyway. Um, the one cup of yogurt, half a cup of the maple syrup, all of that in there. Don't waste a single drop. The one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Guys, remember this is a fatless recipe. There's no butter, no oil. The yogurt is what gives it that consistency and the moistness that we're gonna want because these are very gooey muffins. Coffee. 
I'm definitely not having these tonight, but I'm having them tomorrow. So this recipe isn't mine. I got it from an amazing account on Instagram called Feasting on Fruits, and it's all about keto, sugar-free, gluten-free, everything. You can get all of the dry ingredients in there as well. So see the batter now starting to thicken up a little bit. Incorporated now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start folding in the chocolate. Okay, so make sure you leave some aside so you can garnish your muffins when you start putting them in the muffin tin. And just fold these beauties in. Right, and that is your batter for the muffins. Got loads of chocolate chips in there that will just melt and add to that creamy gooeyness. Scooping those in, this batter should yield about 12 to 14 muffins, depending on how much you fill this up. Just make sure you don't fill it up more than three quarters of the way. Right, so all I've got left is to bake these 30 to 35 to 40 minutes um, uh, at 180 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Let me know how it turns out when you try it at home. Definitely you can substitute the milk for um, the coffee, make it kids friendly. I'm keeping these all to myself. Have a wonderful day ahead or night and we'll see you guys next Sunday. Mm -hmm.